Cups, which could be some race that Glorious could win this year for the Godolphin Blue. Here comes Diamond Rain for Will Buick and said Charlie Appleby as they get set for the Ribblesdale with Mark. And it will leave you got to me, the winner of the Lingfield Oaks trial and that went on to finish fourth at Epsom will be the last one to load Hector Crouch riding for Rafe Beckett. Going into stall number 12 towards the outside for the Ribblesdale, the Royal Ascot Oaks and they're off. These are the three-year-old fillies racing over a mile and a half, and it wasn't the greatest start for Cal Palmer from stall number one, just a step slow, but not as bad as the horse running in the same ownership. That was Ciola, who was very ponderous and now has to drop in from her very wide stall. And so it is you got to me, as she was at Lingfield, very keen and very enthusiastic in the early stages, and Hector Crouch has got the lead, and now he's going to take his time to go clear and cross towards the inside rail. You got to me, zips away away by five lengths to Port Ferry, now racing in second. Cal Parner, having broken a step slow, has moved through on the inside rail to claim third. Danielle is on her outside in fourth. Rubies are red, racing in fifth, will be three wide as they go into the turn. Queen's Fort racing between Phillies and Diamond Rain, the all blue colours, sits towards the inside rail. Two lengths away to Shima's Rose, they go around the turn. On that one's outside is Zazuz at the back of the field now, a new back marker. Higher leaves now been relegated to last and Sio is now last but one but it is you got to me who now has a lead of over eight lengths as now they begin to make the climb on through the halfway point of the Ribblesdale you got to me now make it ten lengths the lead to in second place Port Ferry in third Danielle in fourth towards the inside the very well backed Kalpana Kalpana at the moment must be a good 15 lengths off the tear away leader who is you got to me but now she is just beginning to come back to the field and she goes by the four furlong peg the lead has been reduced now to only five lengths the peloton begin now to make the charge to claim her you got to me still leads the way to Port Ferry in second Danielle has traveled really well on the outside in third then Kalpana now being pushed along around the outside the gray lava stream tries to pick up queen's fort turned in next then jesus nothing from diamond rain who has run flat down the wide outside ciola begins to try and stay on so too higher leaves a change the lead it is now on the outside lava stream who has gone on for danny tunno battling back on the inside is paul fairy and ryan moore they race inside the final half furlong on the far side paul fairy on the near side lava stream these are their own private jewels the line. It will go to Port Ferry over Lava Stream in second. Kalpana was third. You got to me in fourth. Followed home by Jesus and then Danielle. And on the inside, Queen's Fort. A 12 to 1 winner of the Ribblesdale. And it was in the colours of Michael Tabor that Port Ferry has given Ryan Moore and Aidan O'Brien their fifth victories each in the Ribblesdale. In what became a private battle over the final furlong and a half, she wins by a neck to beat into second Lava Stream. In third, Kalpana, who you never really fancied was in the place where she Murphy really wants to be. You got to me really paid for early exertions back in fourth and then Jesus stayed on in fifth it's another group win at Royal Ascot for the boys for Aidan O'Brien and for Ryan Moore as Port Ferry wins the Ribbles then a fifth win in the race for the Coolmore team a fifth win in the race for Aidan O'Brien a fifth win in the race for Ryan Moore, who goes ahead of Frankie Dettori. Still got some way to go to catch Lester Piggott. Here, it looked like Luke Harvey was going to be celebrating as Lava Stream hit the front. But Francesca, great shout. Port Ferry, she was brave here. And they were brave tactics because You Got To Me was clearly very keen early on. She went forward. Ryan elected to go forward, but he sat, I don't know, 10, 12 lengths off her because she was doing a bit too much. But he knew his filly had a lot of stamina. Actually, coming into the closing stages looked like Lava Stream was going better than Paul Ferry, but when it really came to it, 